Well, good morning, everybody, and thank you for joining me on Angela Dickens, my weight loss channel, and also a Sister's Trust. Well, I'm totally excited about doing this duo because one thing that I'm working on on both areas is my weight. And, you know, on the, a Sister's Trust, we've been talking a lot about faith, right? But it is so wonderful when you working on your faith and you getting confirmation. So I woke up with confirmation this morning. And so it was so encouraging to me because of the direction I'm trying to go on. And God sending me little bitty pearls, little diamonds from people. You know, that's why I try so hard to work with other people, even though I have my own problems and my own ailments that's going on. Like right now up here riding on my exercise bike because, you know, it helps me to do better for the day. And I've been thinking different things in my mind, but I got confirmation from a friend this morning that sent me something about a dream she had. But before we get into that, you know, being that we've been talking about faith, I always want to start off with a scripture, okay? And this one is going to be in John chapter 4. But instead of going to the pinpoint area, I'm going to start at the beginning of that part so we can read the whole thing and put it together. Because it's talking about having that faith of things that you really have confidence in before it actually visual, you know, visualize well actually you're visualizing and then it become re you realize and then it become actualized what's actually happening so i'm gonna read that whole section to you okay um and so in john chapter 4 i'm gonna start at verse um 34 it says my food g said jesus is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work don't you have a saying it's still four months until the harvest. I tell you, open your eyes and look at the fields. They are ripe for harvest. Even now, the one who reaps draws a wage and a harvest on a crop for eternity life, for eternal life, so that he so, so that the sower and the reaper may be glad together. Thus saying, the one who sows another reaps. And I mean, and the one who sows another reaps is true. I sent you to reap what you have not worked for. Others have done the hard work. And you have reaped the benefits of their labor. You know, in that is talking about a harvest, you know, God, you know, have visualizing about this harvest that he knows that's going to work out. And a lot of people is going to reap from that. Right. So you still need the action. You still need to do the things that you're trying to do. It's just like when you visualize something, you might write it down. You might draw a picture of it and you keep it in front of you and the forefront of your face um, to help you accomplish that goal. Because. You already got faith that it's going to work out, but you want to figure out how to make it work, right? And you believe in your faith. You don't sit around and just let those thoughts collect dust. You put action. Like right now, I'm on my exercise bike. And I was meditating to get on up when I received my message by looking at my phone. And my friend, she, um, it kind of confirmed what I believe. And you know what? I don't think she'll care, but I'm going to share what she wrote to me. Let me find my... Um, text message page and she's a very good dear friend to me her name is dana armstrong okay so she said this is what she said to me and it confirmed my faith of what i'm working on okay it said good morning angela i am just getting up to go to the gym before i go to work this text because okay go to work this text because i woke up for i'm having a dream about you in my dream, you looked like you was wearing a size 10. And you were just twirling around. And that's cute. Trying to get ready to go someplace. I said, I said to you, look, you look so good. And you said, yeah, I got to see if I can find some clothes to wear. I need to see if I have a size 14. In my closet and that I can wear. Although you look like you was wearing a size 10. 
So then I said, Angela, but your feet. Because, you know, everybody know I've been having um, problems with my feet. I used to have on boots for a year and a half. So I'm trying to get my life back together. So she said, your feet. You're walking really good. You said the doctor told you your feet was walking like that because you had lost the weight. Confirmation. That's what I've been telling myself. If I can get the weight off, I know my ankles and my feet will be so much better, right? Um, he said you didn't need to have surgery. It was the weight that had been messing you up, had been messing up your feet when you walked. I have no idea why you were in my dream or what any of this means, but I just wanted you to know you, I, I just wanted you to know, have a fabulous day. Love, I'll talk to you with you later. Isn't that incredible? It's incredible having awesome friends. You know, we talked about putting the right people in your life too, right? It's incredible having awesome friends, um, people that you can talk to. I even had a conversation with my mom yesterday um, about my health. I always just listen. I know, I know she have concerns. One thing she said to me was, you do all these things and, you know, but then you love sweets, is what she said. You know, I had to listen to all that, all that, even though I'm working on a goal. Um, and because things in your past is still being your future, right? And so you listen to all those things and it helps me to calculate and put it together and look at how do I look in front of other people? What are their thoughts about when I say I'm going to be on this diet or this um, weight change or whatever. But this is a confirmation to my faith or what I'm working on. And most of you know that me and a couple of friends, we're doing this first seven weeks go. And this week we've been working on eating no bread, no rice, no pasta, drinking at least four glasses of water and supposed to exercise twice for the week. Now I'm already on my third um, day of exercising. But anyway, I just want to encourage you guys or whatever your goals is, whatever your faith is, don't give up. And isn't God just awesome? You know, just really confirming what I believe in and what I'm working on. And so I just want to take a few moments to share that with you. This is um, on the, not on the regular, because, you know, especially on Sisters Trust, you know, we have more in the scriptures. But we did read a scripture today, so we can always go back over that. And um, for those of us that's been working on faith and working on that book we've been reading, which is called Radical Faith, keep working on it. Just see how that fits in your life. You know, do something different. Grab a piece of fruit. Because sometimes I, I really realized this week, your mind be telling you you want to eat. You're not even hungry. But, you know, but what I've been doing is eating certain things and just making different choices and eating the limited of those things. So anyway, I want to encourage you today to have a great day and hope this gives you a great start. All right. Thank you again for joining me on A Sister's Trust. And also joining me from Angela Dickens. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.